the ground beneath their eggs. Bottlefish gracefully slip through the pure blue water underneath which millions of tons of resources lie. The beautiful islets known as Tokyo Coast, Korean territory, carved onto one of their steep rocky slopes, and the water that surrounds them is the East Sea. Tokyo and the East Sea are tranquil places, but are ironically the subjects of heated conflict between two neighboring countries, South Korea and Japan. History stipulates that Tokyo is Korean territory. In 512 AD, the Shilla dynasty incorporated Tokyo and Ubudongdo into its territory after conquering Utami. Then, in 1397, Japanese pirates ravaged Ubudongdo and Tokyo. So, in 1403, King Taejong enacted Terra Nullius to prevent people from living on the islands. Many documents written years later, such as the ge geography section of the annals of King Taejong's reign, and of Honshu Shichiboki, and the revised complete map of Japanese lands and roads. So show that Udongdo and Dokdo are Korean territories. Also, near the end of the 17th century, the Japanese Department of the Interior ruled that the islands were Korea's and so were of no concern to Japan. A century later, in 1883, King Kojong nullified the Terra Nullius policy enacted by King Taejong to protect Korean residents of Dokdo from the Japanese pirates and officially resettled Dokdo and Udongdo. Subsequent, subsequently, the Chosen Dynasty Legislative Ordinance No. 41 on October 25, 1900, which officially recognized Dokdo and Udongdo as Korean territory. However, in 1905, Japan claimed sovereignty over Dokdo in the Shimane Prefecture. Then, in 1910, during World War II, Japan took over Korea, including Dokdo and Udongdo. After Japan surrendered and World War II came to an end, the stolen Korean land was returned by the San Francisco Peace Treaty of 1951, Article 2. Over the course of this conflict, there have been many courageous people who protected the Korean islands from Japan's grief, one of whom was Anyongbok, a Korean fisherman. In 1693, while Anyongbok and his companions, Park Hyodong, were fishing around the shores of Udongdo and Dokdo, Japanese fishermen kidnapped and took them to Japan. However, the Japanese government promptly released them as Anyongbok's strong arguments convinced the governor general of the Hokkaido province, a small region of Japan that is now part of the Totori prefecture, that Udongdo and Dokdo were Korean territories. When Anyongbo returned and continued to fish, he spotted Japanese fishermen near the Korean islands again. Anyongbo, angry with the Japanese for fishing Korean, ter Korean territory, returned to Japan of his own volition in, 19 in 1696 to argue that Udongdo and Dokdo were Korean islands. After listening to Anyongbo and negotiating with the Korean government, the Tokugawa government ruled that the islands were Korean territories. The efforts to, pr uh, to protect Dokdo from Japan continued into modern times. The courageous protector of Dokdo was Captain Hong Sun Chin. He founded the Tokyo Volunteer Garrison in 1953 and paid for weapons and supplies for members with his own money. He led the Tokyo Volunteer Garrison in multiple gunfights against Japanese Coast Guard patrol boats. Hong Sun Chil also planted um, the Korean.
When referring to the Sea of Japan, she'll know that it is also called the East Sea. The legislators also that voted Yi for the passing of the bill all agreed that East Sea is proper and would allow students to learn accurate information from the present day, not outdated and incorrect material. Some may wonder how the history of the East Sea and the conflict over its name are relevant to Dokdo. They're related because the name Sea of Japan implies that all islands in it, like Dokdo and Gyeongdo, is Japanese land, even though they are Korean territories. Also, using the name Sea of Japan would hinder the recovery of Korean names of landmarks as Korea was occupied by Japan in the World War II. Most importantly, it connotes complete ja Japanese control over Korea and the East Sea. However, the proper name East Sea suggests that South Korea and Japan both have sovereignty over different land masses in the sea and over various parts of the sea. Along with the dazzling stars, the silver moon rises into the sky above beautiful Dokdo. The occasional shooting star streaks across the sky, while the Korean buzzards float back down to their nest for the night. The file fish in the East Sea drift close to the bottom of the seabed, asleep. All is calm in Dokdo and the East Sea, but sadly, South Korea and Japan are still not at rest. Thank you.